Let's see how to make this halftone text effect here in Photoshop and Illustrator. So it all starts in Illustrator. Let's select the type tool. I'm going to type in the letter S. I went with the Acura Expanded Super Bowl typeface. I'm going to press and hold Shift plus Alt, scale it up, or right click, create outline, and I'm going to position it here. Press and hold Alt, drag it. So it's going to duplicate. I'm going to select the white color for this one, and I'm going to right click on it, arrange, send to back. I'm also going to scale it down a little bit, press and hold shift, select both, go to object, go to blend and click on make. Now, if you don't have this kind of transition, you can select it and double click on the blend, select specify step and increase some higher number until it's going to be smooth like this. Now press Ctrl C, let's go to Photoshop and press Ctrl V. I gotta go with Smart Object, click OK, press and hold Alt, scale it up, double click Release. And now I gotta go to the Filter, let's go to Pixelate, Color Half Tone, and make sure the channel 1, 2, 3, and 4, it's on 0. And I gotta go with the Max Radius on 40, because my artboard is on 2000 by 2000 pixels. And I gotta click OK. And it looks something like this. I also gonna select the type tool, click. I can type in the letter S again with the Acura font. I'm gonna press Ctrl T, press and hold Alt, scale it up, and I'm gonna put it on the text right here. Make it fit. And I gotta double click release. I don't wanna make it perfect. This way it looks really cool. I also gonna add a little blur on this letter S. So go to filter, blur, select Gaussian blur, convert a smart object. And I'm going to go with one pixel, click OK. Now I'm going to select the halftone effect. Let's go to filter, blur gallery, and let's select the field blur. I'm going to add another circle here and drag this one and decrease it to, I don't know. I'm going to go down to two and this one is going to be higher a little bit. I'm going to go with 21, why not? Click OK. Great. Now click on the letter S at the top, go to adjustment layers and select gradient map. Click on it and I'm going to double click on the black. I'm going to select the red color, click OK. I'm going to go and click in here. I'm going to select the yellow or orange, some like that. And double click on the white. I'm going to select the purple. Oh, nice. Click OK, click OK. I'm going to press and hold Shift, select all the layers, right click, convert smart object, and let's go to the filter, noise, add noise. Make sure to uncheck the monochrome, and in my situation, I might go with 17%. Click OK. And this is how you make this really cool looking halftone text effect here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.